Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So it's a really busy day in the conservative media sphere. There's lots of allegations coming out regarding being funded by Russian state media. And one of these groups in particular, my biggest internet rival, a bespeckled, beanied, and bald man named Tim Pool and his group Tenet. Which he doesn't run them, of course, he's just one of the people who works for them. But it involves people like Lauren Southern, Dave Rubin, lots of conservative figureheads who would say that, you know, the left is funded by George Soros and that they don't really believe anything of the stuff that they say. They're only saying it because they're collecting a check. This is another one of these allegations or nothing but confessions things from conservatives, and recently paperwork has come out, released in Congress regarding their election interference scandal, that Russian state media is paying millions of dollars to American groups to promote their content. And some people aren't very surprised by this with Tim Pool. You know, he's always been talking about the civil war that's coming to America, and it always seems like he's trying to promote division amongst Americans by lending credence to certain conspiracies and wild ideas that would only serve to embroil people's animosity and anger towards one another. But specifically with Tim Pool and his whole Russian assetness, I would say the most obvious way you could see this happening is with his commentary on the war in Ukraine and Russia. He said this recently in a video. But I don't know that it matters anymore. This is psychotic. Ukraine is the enemy of this country. Ukraine is our enemy being funded by the Democrats. I will stress this again. One of the greatest enemies of our nation right now is Ukraine. They are expanding this war. Now, don't get me wrong. I know you've got criminal elements of the U.S. government pushing them and guiding them and telling them what to do. Ukraine is now accused a German warrant issued for blowing up the Nord Stream pipeline in uh, 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 triggering this conflict. Ukraine is the greatest threat to this nation and to the world. We should rescind all funding and financing, pull out all military support, and we should apologize to Russia. Now, don't get me wrong. There's lots of things that America should apologize for. Some of our foreign policy decisions and some of the ways that we've shaped the world. But Regarding funding Ukraine's defensive campaign against Russia is not one of them. This whole blowing up the Nord Stream pipeline thing, you know, there was a German court that released a warrant for a V. Zelensky regarding that pipeline being blown up, but that wasn't the start of this war. You know, you could go back farther than that. I know Tim Pool has a hard time remembering more than five years ago, but when Russia took Crimea, that was a huge thing. That was, people started to say, this is a problem then, we need to stop this now, but we didn't, because the person who was president at the time was pretty soft on Russia. Now it's a big problem. Now we're all dealing with it. It's boiled over. Now, I should say that I don't want anybody to be arrested or, like, deported over this. There isn't a law that we have regarding podcasters and media influencers accepting money from overseas to promote ideas from different people, and especially since we allow our politicians to do that, since we allow super PACs from foreign countries to pour millions of dollars into our political campaigns, if that's legal, then letting podcasters do that should also be legal. If a law does get made for this, it needs to include politicians as well. First and foremost, it should include our political groups. Then we can move on into these influencer types and these talking heads. The main point I wanted to make with this video, though, is regarding taking money from foreign nations, from people. And as weird as this sounds, I don't necessarily have a problem with that, with where you get your money from to promote your ideas, as long as they're your ideas. That's the most important part of this. You should all know that YouTube does not pay me yet. I just don't have enough watch hours for that. Maybe, coming up, my only funding for this stuff comes from Patreon. There's a link in my description, you can see it for yourself, but I don't make that much money through there. But the money I make through there doesn't affect my content at all. It's nice to make money off of this, but no one is telling me what content to make, no one is telling me what ideas to promote or push, it's all from me.
Steve Irwin, I know that might be before some of y'all's time, had a similar outlook on the money he got. He talked about doing conservation. He says, I don't care whose money it is. It all spends the same and I'm going to spend it. And if you're spending it on things you care about, of course, for him, it was buying conservation land and taking care of wild animals. As long as you're doing something you genuinely care about, as long as you're promoting ideas that you really believe in, I don't really have issue with who you take your money from. But that's not the problem that's coming up with this tenant group and with Tim Pool specifically. It seems like he is compromised. It seems like he is doing it for the money. And that's a problem. You know, when you promote anti-American ideas and you know, consider yourself this America first type of person, you know, a conservative who believes in American values, but you tell us we should apologize to one of our, really one of our only enemies on the global stage. I would assume most Republicans would never in their lives dream of telling Russia that we apologize for anything we've done, but it's a new world, you know? Some of these people are very addicted to cash flow and the things that they have and their possessions, and they will sell out for money. We should all pay closer attention to who we're getting our news from, to where they're getting their money from, and their honesty around it, around who's paying them, to determine who's very trustworthy. Most of the time I see this from conservatives, that they are very secretive about where they get their money from, how much they're being paid, especially when it comes to crowdfunding efforts. Most of the time with left-leaning people, when they have these sort of public funds, you know, Patreons, GoFundMe, whatever, they're very public about the donations that are coming in. And I approve of that. I think that's a good idea for you to do. Regardless of your political affiliation, you should be open and honest about where your money's coming from if you want people to trust you. But as far as Tim Pool goes, you know, tenant, entertainment, media, whatever, that group, uh, there's going to be so many excuses that come out of this. There's going to be so much cope from people saying that, you know, this is the government going after conservatives. This is a weaponized DOJ or something like that. And all this is, is putting it in your face and showing you what you've done. The people who you took your money from, the ideas you're promoting are coming from this group. This isn't your own personal thoughts and opinions that you're putting on screen anymore. You are being used for your millions of followers to promote anti-American ideals. If you were just anti-American, this would be different, but I know you're not. I know you love this country, and I know you... I shouldn't say you love this country. You love your idea for this country. I guess... As we watch them cope over this, as we watch them try to justify why they would accept millions of dollars in foreign money to promote foreign ideals, y'all try to have a good day.